Look how much that curves me. Yeah. Starting the Oregon Coast Trail, I've got the Columbia River behind me, and then the bar, and then out there is the Pacific Ocean. Here we go. So I've just started the Oregon Coast Trail, but I'm starting it on one of the hottest days that we've had so far in the Northwest. It's a huge heat wave on, what is the date today even? I don't know, the 27th? 28th? 26th? Somewhere around there. Um, so I'm out here really early in the morning getting a few hours of hiking in before the heat starts. And my dad and I started together and he and I are kind of leapfrogging with his car and then we'll hike some parts together. And probably not hike the rest of the day because it's going to be way too hot. So we're in Fort Stevens Park right now. This is where the trail officially starts. Um, but officially it starts from parking lot C, which is currently under reconstruction because of the, the jetty, so it's not accessible. So we started from parking lot D, hiked up onto the beach to the northernmost point on this Clatsop Spit that we could get to, which was actually, I think, a better place to start. It was really cool to see the Washington side uh, and the Columbia River Bar, which is extremely dangerous for ships to cross. Um, cool place to start and now road walking south to connect back onto the beach. So right now we're on the really narrow part of this northern spit on the Oregon border. So to the left is the Columbia River in a little kind of bay and then this road goes down the narrow portion and then between those trees is the beach that I'm going to get to quite soon. Very tenacious. Just parked at parking lot B, heading to the beach. First full view of the Pacific Ocean. See them working on the on the South Jetty. I think they're shoring up the the rocks out there. Oh, it's a long one. Cool. Shade or hard packed sand. I choose shade today. So my dad started this trail with me, um, but we're hoping to beat the heat and hike in these cooler temperatures. So he's leapfrogging to the next uh, parking lot so that we can hopefully get to the Peter Iredale wreck this morning. It's pretty cool to think of my footprints leading all the way from Washington to California. Oh, yeah. But don't do that too hard. 
we just got our first hitch of the of the trail. We're at this Peter Iredale wreck back there, which is very cool and has a lot of history that I need to look up. Um, but we parked two miles back at parking lot A, um, but we only have the one car, so people have been driving up and down in their trucks on this on the sand. Seems to be the thing to do. And so <laughs> we just put our thumb out on the beach. <laughs> Got a ride from a nice, a nice man in a truck. So my dad's getting back to the, back to the parking lot, and then he'll meet me up at probably the border of Camp Rilea. So, yeah, hitchhiking works everywhere. This is the spot for driving. I am very happy because it is 9.45 in the morning, Sunday, and uh, the temps are still really, really nice. 75 degrees, very comfortable, and we, <laughs> this, is the, this is the extreme heat warning day where I might be getting up to like 114 or something in, in Portland, or I don't even know, but it's bad. Uh, but out here at the beach, it's great. Um, I think we're going to end, though, at the border of Camp Rilea. Um, don't want to push it too good or too far. Um, been lucky with the temperatures so far, but they're probably going to heat up towards midday. So, might be getting off trail soon. <laughs> Someone is having fun with their, uh, their driving patterns. <laughs> I stopped filming because I didn't want to get that guy's license plate accidentally, but just kind of keeps going this very fun pattern on the beach.